In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to create submixes in Logic Pro. A submix lets you combine the audio from different tracks and buses into one channel, giving you more control over that one group of sounds. So this is really helpful when working with drums, for instance. So here I have a Logic Pro template from beatelite.com. This one's called Prague House Volume 1. And here, as we can see on top, we have a pretty simple drum kit. It's a kick, two claps, and a closed hi-hat. I'll bring up the mixer, Command-2. Here at the beginning, we can see kick, clap, clap, and close hi-hat. If you notice, each element of the drum kit has been routed to bus 1. Drum master. And if we scroll down the mixer and find bus 1 right here, we could solo this, and if we hit play, we'll just hear the drums. This is a great way of shaping the overall character and overall sound of a group of instruments, in this case, a drum kit. So in this drum master bus, we find an EQ, compressor, low cut, and limiter plugin. And this is helping the drum kit to gel with itself and with the rest of the track. So to demonstrate, we'll bypass all the effect plugins and listen to the drums dry. Now we'll bring in the effects. And you can see how it's a much clearer, punchier sound. Submixes is a great way of getting a tighter feel to your overall mixes by grouping similar sounds together such as drum kits, bass lines, synthesizers, even vocal groups. You'll be able to manage your sound much easier and create a more dynamic relationship between the different parts of the actual project. Join the conversation by following Wig Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.